Minnesota! Woo! Go on, go on. <laughs> outfit change. <laughs> Start this press conference. <laughs> yeah, you're there in the front. Mr. President, when the flu is fast approaching, is the White House better equipped now to handle the possibility of a new COVID variant? How do you suffer through Delta and Omicron? Omicron. Omicron. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Delta Cron. Omicron. Decepticon, it's all the same. It's all the same. And uh, uh, I'll tell you, look, we got the we got the smartest scientists working on the issue with the the CDC, the Center for Decepticon Control. It is right, it's right there in the name, man. I can't spell it out for you. You know, I don't I, I, I know. I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of smart people. I know a lot of smart people from Cybertron, man. And I, you know, and some of them, and they call they some of them, you, you've heard it before. They call them robots in disguise. You know what? You know me, Joe. You know me, fully awake, Joe. I call, them, I, I call them. I call them hard-working American heroes. I call them, some of them were men, and some of them were men and women, but some of them robots. Next question. Yeah, Taylor, go ahead, young fella. Uh, Mr. President Biden, sir. That's me. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Are you talking about the Transformers? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I'm on the topic. Good point. Young man, while I'm on the topic of Transformers, I just have a single question to pose to the audience. Where was Starscream on 9/11? All I'm saying is, is I know of, I know of one man who had the spunk to do what could have been done to stop that tragedy. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. If he had if he had the means, if Mark Wahlberg, if he if he had the means, he could have stopped. He could have intervened. Wait, wait. Are you, are you talking about the interview where Mark Wahlberg, of Mark Wahlberg and the Funky Bunch, of the song Good Vibrations by Mark Wahlberg and the Funky Bunch, said that he could stop 9-11, given he had the means? Yeah, that's exactly, you got it right on the money there. <laughs> You've heard it. I've seen it, you know. I, you heard, you've seen Mark, you've seen Mark running around with the Autobots on TV. You heard him say that, you know. He he had the, you know, he's got. He, if he would, if he was, he could, if he could, he could have If he had the means, <laughs> you know, you know who did have the means though? Star Scream. That boy flies. Look, he, if he, if he wanted, if he was, if he was a good man. If he could have, if he he could have transformed into a plane, and enemy could have hit the same trajectory and knocked it out of the sky and saved it. He could have stopped it. Next question. <laughs> You're there in the front. Fox News here. Oh, okay. Fox News. You put you put you put this in your story. You can't you can't keep denying. You are in bed with the Decepticons. Clearly. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm, I'm not going to put up with this delusion anymore, okay? Fox News has no affiliation with Decepticons. They're not even real. I'll go through slow for you. Decepticon. Megatron. Megatron! <laughs> You there in the front? Well, are you constant filibustering in the house? Yeah. Do you have any plans to stop this obstructionism? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're doing what, yeah. So we're doing what we can. You know, kind of part of the issue is though is there's Decepticons in there. What they do, they get up from this both sides. They get up from their podium. Both first they get up from their podiums and and they get up from the podiums and they go. <laughs> And it's both sides, and they go back and forth, and back and forth, and nothing's getting done, man. It's 15 hours of this, right? It's 13 hours of this. You get the idea, you get the idea. 17 hours of this, you know? And so we can't, you can't, you can't, you know, and you can't hardly keep, and you can't keep going on like this. We gotta eat it in an intern. Dennis, Dennis Tron, and he, well, he translates for us. Poor, he's, he's, half, he's half boy, half Cybertron. You know, you know, poor kid though, he just, he gets up there and he hears it, and he hears him, and he hears him go, and he just repeats it back. He just says the same words, right? He just goes, 
Right back there. We have no idea what any of that means, but you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good boy. He's a, you know, he's a, we keep him on the payroll. Yeah, well, uh, so we're trying, right? I mean, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to who is in the room, right? So when I was with Brock, it was it was pretty much it was pretty much zero de zero Autobots in there, and pretty much all Decepticons also. So if you think about that, you know, it's really hard to push through, you know, reasonable legislation that could help you make it in a bit. you know. And so I I, I all, and I'm pretty and I haven't said this before yet. Stop me if I have, and if I haven't said, I think we need to roll out. I thought, I, I thought we need to roll out some new initiatives. I think, I think we put, we put my, we put my uh, best man Bumblebee in the house. He will fix the issue lickety split. Next question. You know, Miss, Mr. President, you keep talking about rolling out, and yet. Yep. You keep raising the gas prices. Oh my goodness. Ha haven't the American people suffered enough? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you, you think me? You think me, Joe Biden? You think I would raise the oil prices? Oh my goodness. Autobots need that stuff to live. That, that is their lifeblood. I would never, I would never harm an Autobot by depriving them of oil. Are you? Oh my God, this is, he is a moron. Unbelievable. Question. You there. All right, so uh, uh, let me just get this straight for everyone. Yeah, go ahead, reporter. This whole, this whole, this whole press conference, you talk nothing but Transformers. Is this some like sort of corporate filibustering for Hasbro, or maybe is it like? No, 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 no. No. Go ahead. Yeah. Actually, I've got my question. You can go. What? It is not. It is not some sort of weird marketing scheme. I just, I believe in the Autobots. I believe in what they have to say. I swear on the all spark. Curious. Notice how Joe Biden doesn't swear to God. It really makes you think. You get up here and you fight me, you son of a bitch. You're too damn shiny. Ball. And you're tall too. You're tall for a human. I bet you turn into a real nice plane, you piece of shit. Decepticon. Oh, ah, scrap you like Fauci Tron did with all them Beagle Bots. Security. <laughs> 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 